What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. 75 Crazy with another video. Today guys we are heading to CPC to go pick up Bullface suspension from getting power coated. I'm excited to see them things guys. They actually got painted two different colors because I'm trying to contrast like the underneath. So we're going to have two different colors which I'm excited to see that. And then uh, what else we got over there? Yeah we got the rear end. Last time we seen the rear end was all like bare metal. Some of the suspension were bare metal and the other ones are black. So now we had a color because like I said, I'm trying to contrast underneath, you know, make it look more custom. So like when you see the car, it's going to just kind of have like a breakdown, you know, like some suspension parts and some of the tubing. So it's going to, it's going to uniform pretty nice. So I'm excited to see this thing. They've been done. Um, I just haven't had a chance to go pick them up, but today we're going to go pick them up because we got to go drop off all this stuff to kill them all custom so they can start assembling everything and yeah we should be good because we got i think we got everything we're not really missing anything do we oh we, we got everything guys so it's time to it's time to get it done guys because you guys know summer's here we, we're trying to have the car outside so we still got to make a few stops to different shops don't want to miss out so yeah but enough with the talking guys. Let's head over to CPC and go check out Stink this part because I'm excited to see him. And I know you guys are as well, so let's go. Now that's how you pull up to work. CPC. Nice bike. Ooh, you can hear that turbo on that thing. So what we got there? A C, uh, was that a C7? Hopefully, he do something. Nice. Sounds like a nice busy day today. What a perfect day to come pick up the parts. Ooh, what we got here? We got a nice frame. Look at this frame, guys. This thing is glowing. Jeez. Wonder what car this is for. Yeah, I like this. This is really nice. How y'all feel about this? This frame looks good. Whatever car this is going on, it's like really gonna pop. You're definitely gonna be able to see it. That's the cool thing when you do stuff like that. It's like you're showing that you got something done. That you took the time to take the frame, get it all cleaned up. This is nice. It's got like nice reflective. I don't know if, hold on. See y'all can see that. It's nice. What's up, Dave? Going on, Not much. Hey, what kind of car is this going on? Was it box Chevy? Yep. That's nice. It looked like a box Chevy frame. I just wasn't sure. What a coincidence that it'll be a box Chevy frame, right? I mean, that is kind of like the only frame I'd be seeing, anyways. I'm gonna go check out his bike. Let's go check out his bike, guys. Thing sounded good. <whistles> Check it out, gang. That thing looks nasty. I know y'all see what I'm seeing right there, right? Y'all don't see what I'm seeing? I'm just gonna walk towards it. Turbo. I know I heard the turbo whistling. Yeah, all the pattern in the paint. You can see the reflection. Look at them lights. LEDs. The pattern continues. 
Probably a 30, 32 wheel in the front. This thing is nice. I don't know why that thing kind of reminds me of like a, a watch. You guys know like the skeleton? Alright guys, this guy turned on the copyright music. We're gonna let him work. We're gonna let him work guys. Cause I'm not trying to hit no copyright. Let's walk through and uh, check out our parts. Show you guys a little bit of the facility. Y'all ready to go see these parts? So this is how the wheels be looking, like raw material, ready to get painted. All type of wheels, CA wheels. So this is stripped down, no paint guys, and then they go get power coated, any color, like this. See that? Nice. Well, we got some replicas here. So that's the facility. Here we got a lot of finished wheels. That you can kind of see. So right here we got like some charcoal ones. Here we got like this aluminum look, chrome look, black, silver, more silver they also can do the two-tone like you guys see the lip is kind of like a mild like um like a brush look and here we got a lot of the black this is how they look all done white Got some Volanos here. Look at that green, they got the yellow. Bronze, all colors. Metallics. Yeah. They have a lot of colors inside. Like I said, you guys just go inside and pick your color and um, they'll match it whatever you guys need so I got a bike up there y'all ready to see them things let me show y'all what we got here we got some that no these ain't no I thought I was about to say Villano but there's some other brands. These are done as well. Guys check out the calipers. They also do calipers. So my calipers got done as well. They're just getting assembled right now. But look how big these bad boys are. So they do anything guys, anything you can think of, they do them here. Look at this calipers. Got them power cord red. But here it is gang. Check it out. There we got the drive shed blue. Right here we got all the springs. Front and back. We got the upper uh, middle control arm blue. We got the front sway wire blue. We got the anti roll bar blue. We got the trailing arms upper and lower blue. So, what y'all think? Let me show y'all real quick. Look at this. How nice that looks, guys. So these are the springs. They used to be like a silver. Now they're blue. So we're, gonna, we're trying to coordinate so everything's blue. That sway bar is going to look good. The anti roll bar. Look at this blue, guys. It's nice.
Now for the second color, you guys ready to see the second color? Here it is, gang. We went with a gray color. So, kind of like the Destroyer Gray. Look at that. This is the control arm. They used to be black. Now they're just gray. Looks pretty good. I like it. Uh, we ended up doing upper and lower control arms gray. Here we got the custom Fab 9 gray. So let me see if I can stand it up. Oh, I think it's kind of heavy. I don't want to scratch it, but. I don't know if can y'all see it good. Check that out gang. That looks good. Now that used to be all raw metal. It was all just welded. And like kind of like this color guys. Look at it now. All nice painted. It kind of look good. So it's not assembled. You still got to see like all the sample to kind of see the contrast with the two colors. So let me... I don't want to scratch it. <laughs> so we got the... Um, we're in housing. Gray. Upper and lower. And then right here we got the... Um, Anti-robot ends. Same color. And then we got the coilover brackets. Adjustable brackets. So, you know, trying to just coordinate guys. I think they look pretty good. What y'all think like the color uh let me see if I can show you guys how it kinda how it's gonna play. So let me grab one of these. Oops, sorry. So this is kinda like how it's gonna look guys. Look at that. Can y'all see the two-tone? What y'all think about that? Kinda look good, right? I like it. So, what else we got? Oh, the entire roll bar right here. What's up, Dave? Just showing them the colors. There you go. Well, y'all get the idea. For those that don't know, this is Dave. He is the owner of CPC. Where are you guys located? Like, what's your address? 930 Bryan Drive in Crest Hill. So, I was telling them that you guys do any kind of power coating, like any metal, aluminum, right? Anything. Is there anything you can do? Anything. Uh, plastic. Just plastic. Yep. And what's the turnaround like on somebody drop a car off? We do same day appointments for cars. As long as you pre-make an appointment, you're in and out 7, 7 in the morning, 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, we do have expedited services if you have just regular stuff. But uh, I think average turnaround right now is about six weeks just on a general drop off. It's crazy busy right now. Okay. But and if you got something you're in a hurry for, you just let the girls know and they'll, they'll, they'll work it out. And you guys go by appointments, right? We go by appointments on cars and our expedited services. Okay. So, and colors, you guys got a lot of samples? Any, any color. We got a wall of samples. We have a website you can look at. But uh, most people go on prismatic powders. Find a color that you like. Come in, see. We have a sample so you can see it in person. And okay. go from there. All right, guys. Y'all go check them out. And like I said, y'all need your wheels. Look how many wheels get done on a daily basis, man. They they have a big line production. They always working, always busy. So it's hard to catch this guy. Yes. So right, thank you, Dave. One. Thank you. So big shout out to Dave, man. He's getting us right with Bullface. If y'all need anything power recorded, come check him out, man. They got your boy right. Um, if you guys got any ideas, like I said, come check him out. Anything old, guys, like from our old school people. If y'all got anything that y'all want to get painted, like y'all should look into power coating. It's more durable and it looks good. So 
like anything like from the engine bay y'all can get any engine bay part power coated uh, any suspension part it's just you can get very creative guys there's just so much you can do with power coating it's like the same as painting but it's just more durable it's like um look how it looks it looks pretty nice look at the finish nice look at that look at the housing and this is gonna last guys so come check them out guys right here in crest hill or y'all can go check them out at the website like he said y'all can get a better idea of what they do that thing sounds good i think they're tuning it when I put the camera, hopefully they do something. Let's see. Look at that. Sounds good. But yeah, guys, get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think of the part so far. Of full face. We got everything done. The only thing we are waiting is the calipers to get back from the mechanic to get assembled. We're also going to have to take the drive shed to get the U-joints put back on. And then we're going to go to kill them all and drop them off. So, I think it's coming along. Alright guys, we're going to load these things up and head over back to the shop.